Hey there students, in today's video we'll be talking about how to calculate earnings per share. Now this will be the basic earnings per share, not diluted. So we're talking about what is earnings per share, how to calculate it, what's the formula, and how to evaluate this to understand more about when a company looks at earnings per share, how do they evaluate it, how do investors evaluate it, etc. Then we'll jump into a big practice problem where we calculate earnings per share. Let's get into it. Okay, so first off, what is earnings per share? Well, it's kind of what it sounds like. It's how much you earn per share of stock. Now, this is per share of stock of common shares of stock outstanding, not preferred, not preferred dividends. So it's important to know that it's really the amount of income earned per outstanding share of common stock generated on a quarterly or annual basis and excludes all dividends paid to preferred shareholders. It's an important metric, right? So investors and shareholders, they're gonna be looking at companies and how much you're actually earning per share of stock you issue. And so it's an important profitability ratio really used to price stocks. That's kind of what it's meant to do. And to calculate it, fairly straightforward, you take the net income of a company and make sure you exclude, right? So you subtract out all dividends to preferred shareholders and divide it by the common shares outstanding. What that means is the actual amount of shares that are out into the public. Now, to evaluate it, well, really, a higher EPS is good. I mean, that's fairly straightforward, right? It really um, means that uh, investors uh, will see that stock as um, has more value, and they're more likely to invest in it if you're making more off of that per stock, if you're earning per, per more share of stock. So it's how many dollars of profits are generated for every common share of stock outstanding. So a higher one is better than, than not higher. So fairly straightforward on as far as evaluating it. Now let's go ahead and take a look here at a problem. It'll kind of tie it together. So Thunder Inc. reported common shares outstanding of 100,000. So they have 100,000 shares outstanding out there in the market and their net income was 220,000. They also reported preferred dividends of 1,500. So we take this formula, we take the net income, we're gonna subtract out any dividends and divide it by the common shares outstanding. So we just take equals so we know that net income for the year was 220,000 we're going to subtract out 1500 then divided by the 100,000 shares I'll move this over so there we are so basically uh, for every share of stock outstanding they're earning two dollars and 185 cents now the issue with evaluating this is usually it's based on the industry, right? So industry standards kind of set this type of metric. So like two dollars and uh, you know nineteen cents or whatever this might be, it's like is that really good? Well, you look at the other companies in the industry and see what they're reporting. So like maybe you know Netflix versus Amazon versus. Um, other types of companies that might be like in the video streaming industry, or maybe you have ones that are just purely manufacturing, right? Or maybe purely service. So you got to look at the industry and really compare it to each to get a better idea of how that metric is. I would say $2.19 per every share is actually pretty good. Uh, investors might look at that and be like, okay, well, they're actually generating a good amount of uh, profit for every share and that can help with a lot more investors investing into the project knowing that they have enough money to um, fuel future growth of that project so once again the evaluation does really come down to looking at different companies in the industry but overall i would say this is very positive it's a good healthy metric here uh, for earnings per share so that's about it. Fairly basic video. I just want to show you how to calculate that uh, earnings per share. I went through what it is, the formula, how to evaluate it. Then we went through an example problem to really tie it all together. So if you enjoyed this video, please like it. It really helps the algorithm. And subscribe so you don't miss another video from Accounting University. Once again, my name is Nathan. I am from Accounting University. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.